Burning flowers, prepare for the next season. Low chimneys dividing dispute between farther and pure fire. Exhausted silence startled into silence. The long lament south of the sinking, a vivid and stubborn premonition. No one remembered the exodus from family taking every day and all night. Smoldering, smoldering for her younger edge, always more and then towards. Is the girl leaving an emergency? She was, and barely looking away. Out of winter, bare trees work art in her talk. Go on, go finish making roads, won't you? She was different from this living. She stayed before she left, detached twice, and now was fading a name. She knocked on it and heard her mother. You owe me a boiling forecast, weather landing like winter on practically everything. Her father bellowed the edges quietly. His hand and her mouth were opposite, and that was why words were important. His anger grew a side door. The wood slowed down on weekends, and though it was cold, another cloud spent the morning thinking about the sound of cedar. A mistake hissed a bare moon. Her voice over the whir opened her for the singing. The effort ached payment daily, and her mother was her daughter. She couldn't remember when it had happened. Medicine for the heart pains, plumply smoking the edge off things. Incredulously, her father shrank. Small green branches stuck out of her head. What would gut her? She was high and brand new. Fresh weather opening all over handwritten specials. A bell coughed and the burning inhaled. Do you speak enough? It rifled. She left her breath out. The emergency was reciting each price. Pardon? Counting a system, a storm, a center of something larger, lingering wider. Her singing beneath the flowers could cyclone a family, but the clouds were taking the trees. We all screamed for the right window. The weather sighed deeply, but it didn't matter anymore. They were exhausted, swirling pink lights communicating with downpours. Weed smiled languidly at her, drawled a tongue that tasted her breath. Her, ang her anger laughed hot water and a long knife. It wanted to celebrate. The dark starved the clock. It owed her some pirouetting. Trouble kept her numb. She went into red nail polish and pulled on the outskirts. Someone planted a small house against her going. The trees opened out loud and blushed. She could entrance a few moments in a soft, serious voice. Do you want something beautiful and wild, extensively alone? A poem about navigating the opposite direction from a lighthouse? Thank you. Bravo.